water security has been defined as the reliable availability of an acceptable quantity and quality of water for health, livelihoods and production, coupled with an acceptable level of water-related risks. It is realized to the degree that water scarcity is non-existent, or has been decreased or eliminated, and to the degree that floods and contamination of freshwater supplies are non-threatening. Sustainable development will not be achieved without a water-secure world. A water-secure world integrates a concern for the intrinsic value of water with a concern for its use for human survival and well-being. A water-secure world harnesses water's productive power and minimizes its destructive force. Water security also means addressing environmental protection and the negative effects of poor management. It is also concerned with ending fragmented responsibility for water and integrating water resources management across all sectors. Finance, planning, agriculture, energy, tourism, industry, education and health. A water-secure world reduces poverty, advances education, and increases living standards. It is a world where there is an improved quality of life for all, especially for the most vulnerable—usually women and children—who benefit most from good water governance. The areas of the world that are most likely to have water insecurity are places with low rainfall, places with rapid population growth in a freshwater scarce area, and areas with international competition over a water source. Topic. Background Water security is achieved when there is enough water for everyone in a region and the water supply is not at risk of disappearing. According to the Pacific Institute, while regional impacts will vary, global climate change will potentially alter agricultural productivity, freshwater availability and quality, access to vital minerals, coastal and island flooding, and more. Among the consequences of these impacts will be challenges to political relationships, realignment of energy markets and regional economies, and threats to security. It impacts regions, states and countries. Tensions exist between upstream and downstream users of water within individual jurisdictions. During history, there has been much conflict over use of water from rivers such as the Tigris and Euphrates rivers. Another highly politicized example is Israel's control of water resources in the Levant region since its creation, where Israel securing its water resources was one of several drivers for the 1967 Six-Day War. Water security is sometimes sought by implementing water desalination, pipelines between sources and users, water licenses with different security levels and war. Water allocation between competing users is increasingly determined by application of market-based pricing for either water licenses or actual water. Topic fresh water Water, in absolute terms, is not in short supply planet-wide. But, according to the United Nations Water Organization, UN Water, the total usable freshwater supply for ecosystems and humans is only about 200,000 cubic kilometers of water, less than 1%. <laughs> <laughs> Threats The most common threat to water security is water scarcity. There can be several causes to water scarcity including low rainfall, climate change, high population density, and overallocation of a water source. An example of periodic water scarcity in the United States is droughts in California. Another category of threats to water security is environmental threats. 
These include contaminates such as biohazards, biological substances that can harm humans, climate change and natural disasters. Contaminants can enter a water source naturally through flooding. Contaminants can also be a problem if a population switches their water supply from surface water to groundwater. Natural disasters such as hurricanes, earthquakes, and wildfires can damage man-made structures such as dams and fill waterways with debris. Other threats to water security include terrorism and radiation due to a nuclear accident. Topic. Research According to Nature 2010, about 80% of the world's population 5.6 billion in 2011 live in areas with threats to water security. The water security is a shared threat to human and nature and it is pandemic. Human water management strategies can be detrimental to wildlife, such as migrating fish. Regions with intensive agriculture and dense populations, such as the U.S. and Europe, have a high threat of water security. Water is increasingly being used as a weapon in conflict. Water insecurity is always accompanied by one or more issues such as poverty, war and conflict, low women's development and environmental degradation. Researchers estimate that during 2010 to 2015, CA 800 billion United States dollars will be required to cover the annual global investment in water infrastructure. Good management of water resources can jointly manage biodiversity protection and human water security. Preserving flood plains rather than constructing flood control reservoirs would provide a cost-effective way to control floods while protecting the biodiversity of wildlife that occupies such areas. Lawrence Smith, the president of the Population Institute, asserts that although an overwhelming majority of the planet's surface is composed of water, 97% of this water is constituted of saltwater. The fresh water used to sustain humans is only 3% of the total amount of water on Earth. Therefore, Smith believes that the competition for water in an overpopulated world would pose a major threat to human stability, even going so far as to postulate apocalyptic world wars being fought over the control of thinning ice sheets and nearly desiccated reservoirs. Nevertheless, 2 billion people have supposedly gained access to a safe water source since 1990 who may have earlier lacked it. The proportion of people in developing countries with access to safe water is calculated to have improved from 30% in 1970, to 71% in 1990, 79% in 2000 and 84% in 2004, parallel with rising population. This trend is projected to continue. The Earth has a limited though renewable supply of fresh water, stored in aquifers, surface waters, and the atmosphere. Oceans are a good source of usable water, but the amount of energy needed to convert saline water to potable water is prohibitive with conventional approaches, explaining why only a very small fraction of the world's water supply is derived from desalination. However, modern technologies, such as the seawater greenhouse, use solar energy to desalinate seawater for agriculture and drinking uses in an extremely cost-effective manner. Topic. Most affected countries Based on the map published by the Consultative Group on International Agricultural Research CGIAR, the countries and regions suffering most water stress are North Africa, the Middle East, India, Central Asia, China, Chile, Colombia, South Africa and Australia. Water scarcity is also increasing in South Asia. Topic. Israel 
The Israeli holistic approach to water security draws from 70 years of experience in national security and water management. Nations such as the US, UK, Spain, and others are collaborating with Israeli experts in water security standards. Topic: International competition. International competition over water can arise when one country starts drawing more water from a shared water source. This is often the most efficient route to getting needed water, but in the long term can cause conflict if water is overdrafted. More than 50 countries on five continents are said to be at risk of conflict over water, Turkey's Southeastern Anatolia Project, Gunidagu Anadolu Projesi, or GAP, on the Euphrates has potentially serious consequences for water supplies in Syria and Iraq. China, is constructing dams on the Mekong, leaving Vietnam, Laos, Cambodia and Thailand without same amount of water as before investment. A huge project of reversing the flow of the Brahmaputra Chinese, Sangpo, River, which after leaving Chinese Tibet flows through India and Bangladesh. The struggle for water in some afflicted regions has led inhabitants to hiring guards in order to protect wells. Moreover, Amu Darya River, shared by Uzbekistan, Turkmenistan, Tajikistan and Afghanistan, which has been nearly completely dried out, so much so that it has ceased to reach the Aral Sea, lake, which is evaporating in an alarming pace. The fact that Turkmenistan retains much of the water before it flows into Uzbekistan. Topic. International competition Topic. Australia In Australia there is competition for the resources of the Darling River system between Queensland, New South Wales and South Australia. In Victoria, Australia a proposed pipeline from the Goulburn Valley to Melbourne has led to protests by farmers, in the Macquarie marshes of NSW grazing and irrigation interests compete for water flowing to the marshes. The Snowy Mountains scheme diverted water from the Snowy River to the Murray River and the Murrumbidgee River for the benefit of irrigators and electricity generation through hydroelectric power. During recent years government has taken action to increase environmental flows to the snowy in spite of severe drought in the Murray-Darling Basin. The Australian government has implemented buybacks of water allocations, or properties with water allocations, to endeavour to increase environmental flows. Topic. India. In India, there is competition for water resources of all interstate rivers except the main Brahmaputra River among the riparian states of India and also with neighbouring countries which are Nepal, China, Pakistan, Bhutan, Bangladesh, etc. Vast area of the Indian subcontinent is under tropical climate which is conducive for agriculture due to favourable warm and sunny conditions provided perennial water supply is available to cater to the high rate of evapotranspiration from the cultivated land. Though the overall water resources are adequate to meet all the requirements of the subcontinent, the water supply gaps due to temporal and spatial distribution of water resources among the states and countries in the subcontinent are to be bridged. There is intense competition for the water available in the interstate rivers such as Kaveri, Krishna, Godavari, Vamsadhara, Mandovi, Ravi Bees Sutles, Narmada, Tapti, Mahanadi, etc. Among the riparian states of India in the absence of water augmentation from the water surplus rivers such as Brahmaputra, Himalayan tributaries of Ganga and west-flowing coastal rivers of western Ghats. 
All river basins face severe water shortage even for drinking needs of people, cattle and wildlife during the intense summer season when the rainfall is negligible. Water security can be achieved along with energy security as it is going to consume electricity to link the surplus water areas with the water deficit areas by lift canals, pipelines, etc. The total water resources going waste to the sea are nearly 1,200 billion cubic meters after sparing moderate environmental, salt export water requirements of all rivers. Interlinking rivers of the subcontinent is possible to achieve water security in the Indian subcontinent with the active cooperation of the countries in the region. Topic. United States domestic policy The United States currently does not have a cohesive domestic water security policy. Water security is projected to be a problem in the future since future population growth will most likely occur in areas that are currently water stressed. Ensuring that the United States remains water secure will require policies that will ensure fair distribution of existing water sources, protecting water sources from becoming depleted, maintaining good wastewater disposal, and maintaining existing water infrastructure. Currently there are no national limits for U.S. groundwater or surface water withdrawal. If limits are imposed, the people most impacted will be the largest water withdrawers from a water source. In 2005, 31% of U.S. water use was for irrigation, 49% was thermoelectric power, public supply 11%, public supply, industrial was 4%, aquaculture 2%, domestic 1%, and livestock less than 1%. The lack of current national water policy is effective in regions of the United States where there is a lot of water but not effective in regions of water scarcity. In the future, a national water security policy may have to be implemented to move water from regions that are water-rich to regions that are water-scarce. If new policies are implemented, the major stakeholders will be individual states, both water-rich and water-poor states, farmers, power companies, and other industries that use a substantial amount of water, such as mining and oil and gas. Topic. Water utility security According to the United States Environmental Protection Agency EPA, "...improving the security of our nation's drinking water and wastewater infrastructures has become a top priority since the events of 9-11." Significant actions are underway to assess and reduce vulnerabilities to potential terrorist attacks, to plan for and practice response to emergencies and incidents, and to develop new security technologies to detect and monitor contaminants and prevent security breaches. One of the most important elements of water security is early and accurate contamination detection. The EPA has issued advisory material and guidelines for contamination warning systems to be implemented in water utilities and supplies. The security challenges that utilities frequently revolve around fast detection, accuracy, and the ability to take fast action when there is a water problem. If contamination is detected early enough, it can be prevented from reaching consumers, and emergency water supplies can be put into effect. In cases where contamination might still reach consumers, fast and efficient communication systems are necessary. All these factors also point to the need for organized and practiced emergency procedures and preparedness. Topic. Regulation 
Since 2002, under the Bioterrorism Act, a water utility supplying more than 3,300 people must take at least the following measures to ensure security of the water supply. Conduct an assessment of the facility's vulnerabilities to vandalism, insider sabotage, or terrorist attack, and submit the report to the EPA. Show that the facility has an up-to-date emergency response plan, should an incident occur. More recently, under the Drinking Water Security Act of 2009, the EPA is now required to establish risk-based performance standards for community water systems serving more than 3,300 people. Cincinnati Water Works, San Francisco, and New York City are among the major water utilities that have taken water security measures at their facilities, such as planning for contamination warning systems. Topic. Water utility security components Security of a water supply involves a range of elements. Prevention and detection systems include some or all of the following, access to public health and customer complaint data, water quality monitoring equipment, sampling and analysis, cybersecurity which includes situation management and IT systems hardware and software, and physical security. Crisis management and recovery, for when critical water events occur, includes flow control and security valves, rapid and effective communication systems, and emergency water supply equipment. Specific technologies involved in water security are SCADA, GIS, Geographic Information System, Online, Real-Time, Water Quality Monitoring Devices, Contamination Warning Systems, Intrusion Detection Systems, IDS, Contamination Detection Devices, Security Valves, Security Cameras and Fences, Situation Management, Emergency Management Software, Emergency Supply Tanks, manned, or human, security personnel, personal purification devices, and counterterrorism intelligence. Topic. Notable water security organizations The Water Information Sharing and Analysis Center Water Isaac, is the U.S. water sector's security and emergency response information source. This nonprofit service provides U.S., Canadian, and Australian drinking water and wastewater utilities with the information they need to heighten the protection of water collection and delivery infrastructure. Water Isaac is also a peer-to-peer, -peer, business networking platform. Eligible members of the water sector have access to a clearinghouse of government and private documents, guides, best practices, handbooks, and contaminant databases as well as shared data including analysis of successful and failed security incidents within the water sector. These include cyber incidents, physical incidents, and other security-related incidents. Many but not all of these are reported to and tracked by Water Isaac. Together, these resources are can be used by utility managers to identify risks, prepare for emergencies, and secure the nation's critical water infrastructure and the environment. American Water Works Association Topic. Blue Peace Blue Peace is a method which seeks to transform trans-boundary water issues into instruments for cooperation. This unique approach to turn tensions around water into opportunities for socio-economic development was developed by Strategic Foresight Group in partnership with the governments of Switzerland and Sweden. The Blue Peace is an innovative approach to engage political leaders, diplomats and populations in harnessing and managing collaborative solutions for sustainable water management. Blue Peace is part of a larger trend of viewing water as a human right, rather than a market commodity. 
When water is viewed as a human right, it empowers people in water-stressed areas to manage their water sources effectively. Part of having effective management of water is ensuring that all socioeconomic groups of people in a region have adequate access to water, not just certain people. Topic. Conventional fossil or nuclear energy-based desalination As new technological innovations continue to reduce the capital cost of desalination, more countries are building desalination plants as a small element in addressing their water crises. Israel desalinizes water for a cost of 53 cents per cubic meter. Singapore desalinizes water for 49 cents per cubic meter and also treats sewage with reverse osmosis for industrial and potable use no water. China and India, the world's two most populous countries, are turning to desalination to provide a small part of their water needs. In 2007 Pakistan announced plans to use desalination. All Australian capital cities except Darwin, Northern Territory and Hobart are either in the process of building desalination plants, or are already using them. In late 2011, Melbourne will begin using Australia's largest desalination plant, the Wanthaji desalination plant to raise low reservoir levels. In 2007 Bermuda signed a contract to purchase a desalination plant. The largest desalination plant in the United States is the one at Tampa Bay, Florida, which began desalinizing 25 million gallons cubic meters of water per day in December 2007. In the United States, the cost of desalination is $3.06 for 1,000 gallons, or 81 cents per cubic meter. In the United States, California, Arizona, Texas, and Florida use desalination for a very small part of their water supply. After being desalinized at Jubail, Saudi Arabia, water is pumped 200 miles 320 kilometers inland though a pipeline to the capital city of Riyadh. A January 17, 2008, article in the Wall Street Journal states. Worldwide, 13,080 desalination plants produce more than 12 billion gallons of water a day, according to the International Desalination Association. The world's largest desalination plant is the Jebel Ali Desalination Plant Phase 2 in the United Arab Emirates. It is a dual-purpose facility that uses multi-stage flash distillation and is capable of producing 300 million cubic meters of water per year. A typical aircraft carrier in the U.S. military uses nuclear power to desalinize 400,000 U.S. gallons 1, L of water per day, while desalinizing 1,000 U.S. gallons 3, L of water can cost as much as $3, the same amount of bottled water costs $7,945. However, given the energy intensive nature of desalination, with associated economic and environmental costs, desalination is generally considered a last resort after water conservation. But this is changing as prices continue to fall. According to MSNBC, a report by Lux Research estimated that the worldwide desalinated water supply will triple between 2008 and 2020. However, not everyone is convinced that desalination is or will be economically viable or environmentally sustainable for the foreseeable future. Debbie Cook, the former mayor of Huntington Beach, California, has been a frequent critic of desalination proposals ever since she was appointed as a member of the California Desalination Task Force. Cook claims that in addition to being energy intensive, desalination schemes are very costly. Often much more costly than desalination proponents claim. 
In her writing on the subject, Cook points to a long list of projects that have stalled or been aborted for financial or other reasons, and suggests that water-stressed regions would do better to focus on conservation or other water supply solutions than to invest in desalination plants. Topic. Solar energy-based desalination A novel approach to desalination is the seawater greenhouse, which takes seawater and uses solar energy to desalinate it in conjunction with growing food crops in a specially adapted greenhouse. Topic. Food security with tiny water footprint It is feasible to divert most of the available fresh water resources for drinking, industrial, hydro power and adequate environmental river flows purposes by reducing water use in agriculture which is consuming more than 80% of the global fresh water use. Without cultivating water-intense crops, global food security can be achieved at faster pace by producing protein-rich feed for cattle, poultry and fish from the cultivation of Methylococcus capsulatus bacteria culture with tiny land and water footprint using natural gas, biogas. Topic. See also. Right to water Water scarcity Water Security Journal International Water Association IWA, a global network of 10,000 water professionals spanning the continuum between research and practice and covering all facets of the water cycle.